I consider myself a creator in the sense of like to create things using what's already here first and acquiring things as needed once you envision something. It's not so much a creator as an assembler. Call it what you will. People who are creative and use YouTube, there are many of you have tried many different things for channel ideas. So have I. And it's a lot of fun. But my real passion, as my resume on my channel would show, is audio audio theater and getting what you would get out of YouTube through only the sound. I feel like it's a neglected area and I try to explore. For example, I am waiting for John. We were supposed to go to the store. I have my list. I It's two hours since I agreed to meet him and I'm pretty sure he knocked on the door while I was in the shower. So I missed him because I was running late. But now it's two hours past the appointed time. I've knocked on his door thrice, four times, and shall do so again in a moment, but I am two hours away from an appointment, and it's a Saturday, and I wanted to get some things done. So, as a creator, which was the main point, speaking to you as a group, those who like to create things, be they videos or baskets or whatever it is you like to do. Etsy exists for a reason. People who are craft-minded, there are many of them, are wonderful people. They do a lot of wonderful things. They put their mind to things. So, in a sense, people that have a YouTube channel are kind of like Etsy. They, they make their own art. So I, some of this would go on YouTube, but I could have put the camera out, but and could have had a 10-minute YouTube video. Wasn't the point. I want to create what YouTube does through audio. I believe it can be done. Now, audio... Uh, experts, I know plenty of them, the technical guys, would never have a fan running if you're going to do something and try to use it on any kind of platform. But I chose to sit out here and use the sound of the fan to see what it does. Even I haven't sound checked it because part of the art is to get a capsule of reality unaltered when the reality was set up to achieve a certain goal. It's not like it's contrived, but I wanted to portray reality through only hearing because humans, especially today, rely too much on their eyes. And so the fan sound provides I should test that. But what I do before YouTube existed in my mind as I did podcasts. For example, here it is the 3rd of July on the Saturday, about 2 o'clock. Imagine Rod Serling. 2 o'clock on a Saturday before the 4th of July. 4th of July is a picnic holiday a cooking out and grilling holiday but the fireworks on the back of everybody's mind they're the Christmas presents of the holiday take Bob over there who's cutting his grass right now has fireworks and he invested heavily into them and he will put on a show that would be to almost north more like northwest to us as I face the east pretty much a little 120 to the left 
so he would be northwest and a little further down the gentleman will have fireworks he is due west so I have fire displays northwest and west and to the due east the gentleman has a trunk load of fireworks having taken multiple trips to acquire so to the east there shall be an explosive display and to the north quite a few people will be shooting them off which is right across the street so the only direction that really isn't accounted for would be the southerly direction from the southeast to the southwest there would be no fireworks that I would know of but there's a lot of trees there so essentially the night sky should be lit but it's the 3rd of July a Saturday which puts the 4th of July on a Sunday so it's one of those magical times where you celebrate it five six times they've been shooting these fireworks all week but tonight is Christmas Eve and the fireworks should go on display but Rod Serling could use the street that I'm looking at it looks a lot like Maple Street and the fan would be a perfect place for a short bit of dialogue on the front porch on July the 3rd pick a year pick a summer you just want to number them I just call them summer. It comes and hope it comes back. I love the summer. And the 4th of July is summer. So it's a summer afternoon on a Saturday in the deep south. 4th of July and fireworks are about to be shot and John still hasn't shown up. We should do a show about John. John is a character. He's going to have a blast tonight with those fireworks. He's 86 years old and loves fireworks. And across the street, we have a pyromaniac. So certainly this is almost like Christmas. The tension in the air, the anticipation. It's absolutely astounding. And so that's what you do while you're waiting at the bus stop. You know, we talk a lot about 10 minutes. You know, do you realize most people wait 10 minutes for anything if they wait at all? Just a sec means 10 minutes. Oh, just a sec. If it takes less than 10 minutes, you're happy. People have a built-in clock about what they will tolerate. They have to be entertained very quickly now. But John is entertaining, and I'm waiting for him, and so this video is basically about waiting for John. Perhaps we can use it in some sort of uh, claim as to a, a, whether our insanity is questioned. We could blame John, perhaps. Certainly, it would be contributing coal. John himself is not insane, but he has certainly most likely driven some, or at least one, to that drink. And so I'm still waiting. Waiting for John's never a problem. He waits for me a lot, so I guess it's only fair play. But me and John are going to go, and you know he was going to get just a few more fireworks. Because this is Christmas Eve to John. Maybe we'll get some video, uh, videos later. We gotta stop because I see John coming up. 